Welcome back YouTube. I got a new tool. Today we're going to be opening up this W1831 oscillating spindle sandal from ShopFox. It has a half horsepower motor, 120 volt plug-in, three and a half amp motor, uh, 2000 RPM. It's got spindles from half inch all the way up to three inch. Uh, what else? It's got different table inserts so you don't have a big gap between your spindle and your table. It's got a cast iron top and let's open it up see what it looks like. Got your instruction manual and then you have this top piece and it has all your accessories in it. Got your spindles, your sandpaper, it's got a box of hardware. These must be the table inserts and some more spindles down here. Nothing underneath. We'll set this off the side for a minute. Now it's not terribly heavy, but it does have pretty good weight to it. It's got a dust port on the back, so that'll save you some lungs. We got places on the back for all the spindles. We'll get them all in place. We got slots in the front for all of your plates. You got a couple places in the back it looks like for a wrench. You got some screw holes so you can bolt it down to your table if you like. We're not going to do that because I don't have any place to put it at the moment. So I'm going to get these accessories put in here and then we'll uh, fire it up and try it out. I got the three inch on there. Put the washer on. Now, the first thing I noticed was it didn't have storage for the washers, so I took a couple extra magnets left over from the nightstands. But, as you can see, it's got places for all the spindles. Three inch goes here in the center. You got your dust port here on the back. You got a place in the front for all of your... for all your different size plates. We have the plate installed for the three inch at the moment. Let's uh, fire it up here and turn it on. So let's turn it on, see what it sounds like. Pretty quiet, it's not terrible. So the dust collection seems to work great. Let's try it without dust collection. Change this ring out, because I've already changed the spindle out. Oh, next one up. So the dust collection works really well. The only real issues I have is the plastic base seems to have a lot of flash on it from where it was molded. And I think that could have been cleaned up a little better, which I could deal with that. I'll trim it up and you'll never know it was even there. But, uh, Everything else seems to be pretty solid on it. I'll uh, give y'all an update later on. But I bought this especially for that particular project. So I'm going to go ahead and get 
back to that project and use the crap out of this. And I'll let you know in the next video how well it does. But I think I paid like 200 bucks for it. And it was on the top five list on several different top five lists on YouTube. And I kind of got a thing for Shop Fox for some reason. But, yeah. All in all, I think it's a pretty good deal. I think it's a pretty good machine. Try it out. I'll put a link below so you can uh, get one for yourself. That's all I got for today. See y'all later.